Sorry to here, back from vacation and back in KSP. I've been playing around with some mods and I made this little beauty. It's the Assault Arrowhead. It uses Infernal Robotics and B the Armory. And uh, it's a Assault VTOL. You can move the engines uh, in the menu. They do touch the ground so you can't uh, really uh, you can't land on them, but you have to be very gentle. One toggles the engines, which you can see have no fuel. This plane has no fuel of itself, so you have to turn on the infinite fuel. Uh, why? Because I have no space for them, for the fuel. That's why. Because I believe this is kind of a future craft. So, uh, yeah. Just something like Star Wars or Star Trek, you know. You don't see those guys fuel their planes. Somewhere in my imagination, there's an energy core in this uh, craft which provides the fuel. Yeah. And it's just for fun, this plane. I'm not gonna go to orbit with this, I'm not gonna fly long distance, I'm just gonna destroy some things. Now you wonder how do I do that? Oh, but beat the armory. And let's open her up, like so. As you can see, it's uh, pretty well armed, and this is the reason why there's no space. Everything's full, and that's also this is also the reason that the plane is a little bit wobbly when you fly it. Uh, all the moving parts are moving because of Infernal Robotics, and Infernal Robotics is a little bit wobbly. So, alas, can't be helped. Uh, I could use Active Strut, but I uh, haven't got to that yet. Maybe in the next version. Okay, uh, in the front we have uh, the Kark cannons in their own cannon bay. Uh, the reason why they're separate of the rest, those cargo bay doors, or uh, those, uh, I don't know, those bay doors, because if you open them completely, the, your ship will fall to the ground like a brick. So, do not op open them completely, or at least open them completely and move them back. Now let's uh, try and destroy some things. Um, two toggles the cog cannons, and well, as you might know, they don't move, so you have to aim them with your ship. And just destroy them. Nice. Three toggles the Falcon cannons at the bottom. These are my uh, personnel cannons, as I like to call them, anti-personnel. They are, as you can see, uh, on their sides, so they can aim low. And you can fly over something and wreck it. Of course, it's also easy that you can fire them where you want to, without having to fly exactly in the same direction. Turn those off. Now we have the Hellfire missiles, 12 missiles to be exact, which you can fire all at once with four, or you can open the weapon manager, like so, select next weapon, and fire them one at a time. So if you want to do a nice single shot, do it like this. And if you simply want to shoot a barrage and destroy everything inside, you just press, let's see, four. And you miss your target completely. Very nice. But you get the idea. Uh, four fires the eight Hel uh, Hydra rocket pods. At least they are supposed to find it. Or is that... Oh, sorry. It's five. And that was a nice coincidence. Oh, when the uh, Hellfire missiles run out, the uh, weapon manager will shift to the Falcon Cannon, so you have to turn them off again or leave them on. But if you leave them on and you press uh, the uh, mouse button, you will fire. 
but okay. So, uh, like I said, higher fire, uh, hydro missiles. Guys. Um, yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, now, uh, let's close her up. So, wrap up the speed uh, and go to flight mode, like so. And pick up our feet. Uh, like I said, it's a bit wobbly this plane. Oh, close this one. Don't have to, but now it looks smooth. Yeah, only if you move up and down, left or right, you know, it's it's a bit wobbly. That's one of the reasons why I have uh, a lot of SCS to keep it flying sort of straight. Because the engines move, the wings move. You know, just you got to work with what you get. Uh, I think it's a fun plane. Uh, let's see if we can use the. Uh, Gog was flying. Press two. And let's turn her around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, apparently if you open the cock base during flight, they will bump against the engines and you get buggy flying. So, don't open them up or at least open them up when you're flying straight and want to go keep going in that direction. Of course, you can also open up each uh, weapon bay uh, Separately, so if you want to use the uh, Vulcan cannons, simply open them up like so, turn them on, and just make another pass. And then we'll end this video. It's a bit of a mess this video, I uh, have to get back into the swing of things, so sorry for that. Uh, this is taking too long. I'm gonna end it at this. You know how this cannons works. Um, it's not an optimal plane. It's a better VTOL, but you know, you know, what you gonna do about it? Uh, if you guys like the video, please like the video. And uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe. If you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.